is Brent Locker bringing you another Vibrant Life video and uh, this time I'm in front of Lake Tahoe which is one of the more beautiful places in the world. I've been here probably close, close to a hundred times. Uh, my wife and I, Suzanne and I, uh, for the last 40 years we've come up here at least twice a year. And uh, I'm here because I want to talk about the enjoyment of life and God's intention that we actually have the joy and the peace along the way. And, and for some reason, for, for all of us at times, it seems kind of elusive. Um, like we are, are often like really hard on ourselves or we just think that, man, I wish I were in a different place in life. I should have done more by now. Or sometimes circumstances are just really hard. And so um, we have this tendency just to, to kind of, uh, I don't know, have like this cloud and you know, feel like life's just not good. Now, you might be thinking, well, okay, up here in Lake Tahoe, well, life's good there for you, Brent. Well, you know what? Um, we can be in the most beautiful places in the world and still not really be enjoying life because it really has nothing to do with the environment or the circumstances. It has to do with what's going on inside of us, inside of our hearts. And and so, yeah, this is a beautiful place. And And when I look back, you know, look back at pictures or videos of times we've been up here, it seems like whenever we look back on pictures, any of us, there's this nostalgic sense around it, right? Where, where it's like, oh, those were the good old days. And what we forget is even in those moments, we still had a lot of the same struggles of not, not feeling like uh, life was where we wanted it to be or feeling our own you know, inward emotions of struggles. And we kind of forget all that when we see a picture or a video of something that was fun. And, and what God was really has been showing me lately is that, is that he wants to take us to a place where we understand that these are the good days. Yes, those were the good days too because good things happened and we can remember them fondly and thank God for them. But these are the good days also. And can we know that? Can we be aware of that in the moment? That's actually where the joy comes from. And more and more and more, God's been helping me to do that, to right in the moment, to know, oh my goodness, God, you're with me. And that's actually what brings me the joy. And then with the awareness of God's presence, right there, whatever is going on, I enjoy it more. I'm more aware of the gift that this moment or this person in front of me is to me. And I think about um, the Apostle Paul who in the book of Philippians, it's, it's four verse 11. He says, I've, I've learned to be content in all circumstances. And, and you have to understand, he was writing this while in prison. And, and he was in prison for, for not doing anything wrong. In other words, um, gosh, for any of us, you know, we, we're thrown in prison for something that, that we didn't even do, uh, for being misunderstood. Uh, and man, that would, that would put all of us in a pretty bad place. And this is where Paul writes and says, hey, I've got Jesus in me. I am so good. I'm so good Where, wherever I am, it doesn't matter. And just prior to that, this is where he said, don't be anxious about anything. And what he's getting at there is, is this sense that we have or this tendency we have at times to do this thing I call future tripping, which is we, we think about all kinds of possible things that could go wrong, whether it's in the next hour or the next week or the next year. And all those scenarios, that's what's called vain imaginations. That's our imagination running wild. That's actually robbing the joy out of this moment. And, and this, is, this is what God wants is for us to enjoy this moment because this is the moment we have. Even me doing this video, is, as weird as this sounds, I understand right, right at this moment, God is with me and it actually makes this video enjoyable. And, and so this is what he's getting at is he doesn't want us to future trip and to worry about things that haven't happened. He says, I'm right here with you in this moment and that's enough. It's enough that you have me right now. And so for you who are watching this, what I want to do is encourage you that no matter what you're doing today, no matter how, what circumstances are going on around your life, in this moment, God is inviting you to be aware. I'm right here. He says to you, I'm right here. 
And that awareness is what brings joy to this moment. And actually that awareness is what keeps you in this moment and not, not future tripping, not worrying about things that haven't happened yet. And, and the, I also know the Lord wants you to know this, these days, this day, are the good days. Yes, the days of the past, the ones that we enjoyed with others when we flip back and look at videos or, or pictures, yeah, those were the good days. And these are the good days. I declare that to you. I want you to feel that within you. These are the good days. And it's the ones you're living in. And it's good because you're alive. And it's good because God loves you. And it's good because your light is shining out of you and making a difference around you. And it's good just because, because God's joy is in you. So I just declare peace over you today. And I say to you today, this day and this moment, it is well. That's what shalom means, peace. The peace of the Lord is, is with you. It is well. Your spirit knows it is well. So I'm declaring that over you as you enjoy this day as the good days.